Last year, I moved to a new apartment with a full kitchen and a pantry. As someone who only had a micro kitchen for over seven years with no oven and only about nine inches of counter space, I didn't even know what to do with myself now that I had all this extra room. But now that's resulted in a big unorganized mess of a pantry that's in desperate need of help. So I decided to do something about it. Okay, so here we are. Um, I figure I will give you the full tour um, in all its its gritty realism uh, and just show you the absolute mess that's going on back here. So right now we've got our brooms and our Swiffer that we don't use as much as we should. Just chilling here on the floor. Uh, our plastic bag collection, you know, gotta have one of those. Um, also my internal like water bladder sack for my running hydration vest. I'm hopefully gonna find a more appropriate place for that. Oh Jesus. Yeah, as you can see, it's not held on very well, so. Great. <laughs> Moving on, uh, I've got my aprons and some like strainers hanging up here. I mean, I, I wanna hang stuff, I think that's effective, but this is kind of just like a waste here and it's just kind of taking up space. We got all the cookbooks um, and then uh, basically just up here is some random tools and, you know, like cocktail stuff and, you know, the Ninja Turtles mug, so. Underneath all those shelves on the left side, we've got this strainer and like, there's this little shelf here that I had from ages ago from when I lived in my micro kitchen. Um, it's like supposed to be like, you know, give you some extra height for storage. So right now all of our cutting boards are basically under there except for the cutting boards that don't fit under there, which is this one and this one. On top of that cutting board, we've got our two lovely cast irons. Um, you might be asking, why don't I just store them like up here with the rest of the pans and the pots and, and all that stuff? Um, that's because these shelves are um, unstable as fuck. I think if I tried to put these on there, it would absolutely collapse and possibly cave the wall in, so. That's not an option for me right now. The shelf above it is slightly more stable, but you know, like there are still like screws sticking out of it. So the reason why these shelves are so unstable is because the wall itself behind it is unstable. Um, it was water damaged like quite a long time ago and essentially it's like just crumbling away. Um, there's a huge hole in it. We literally have covered with a duct tape weave. Um, which is like ridiculous, but it's really all we could do. Um, so unfortunately that's probably not something I'm gonna be able to fix, um, uh, at least not right now. Um, and so my main concern about it is the fact that I can't just secure these shelves down and or screw new ones into the wall because there's nothing to screw it into. So in addition to our duct tape wall, we have a couple of larger appliances. So we've got a food processor here and then some more like scattered ones that we don't use as much like the waffle iron and this toaster. And then finally underneath that stuff, we have my sort of shitty makeshift pantry. Um, it's not very organized, not easy to find stuff, and behind all of these oils and vinegars I have my blender, which is really inconvenient when I need to get it out. Um, and then the next shelf, we're going for some baking stuff, just random flowers, beans, dry goods, random stuff like that. And our last shelf, we have um, my crate where I put used dish towels, and then of course you know I have a shelf dedicated just to LaCroix, so. All right, so that's pretty much where we're at right now. Um, I'm gonna start like clearing some of this stuff out of here and I'll see if I can do something that makes a little bit more sense than this.
is everything. Actually, it's not even everything because there's shit in the drawers in there too. So this is the completely cleared out pantry, um, except for these drawers down here. Uh, they have a bunch of stuff in it that doesn't even really belong to us. Um, and it's like, it's just a ton of space that we're not even really using. So I'm gonna clear those out and see if we can make them more useful than they are now. More tea. There's so much tea here, it's insane. <laughs> oh my God. The whole drawer is just tea. This is all the tea I found in those drawers. And then these three boxes also filled with tea. This is insane. So now I've exposed the wall behind me um, and you can get kind of a better look at the fact that it is pretty messed up. So you can see that there's like this big particle board sort of thing that's covering up most of the damage and while I don't dare take it off I will try to secure it more to the wall. What's left of it that is. And now all that's left to do is clean. Well, it probably doesn't look like it, but I am officially done with all the, the cleaning and wiping everything down and uh, doing whatever I can with this thing. I think I'm gonna put the storage rack back where it was, hide the shame wall, and, uh, and tomorrow I will take it from there. All right, the chaos continues. Um, I have decided even though it desperately needs it, all the shelves and like the trim inside the pantry, um, they really need to be painted, but it would involve uh, like sanding down uh, all of the wood in there pretty aggressively, um, which I'm afraid would like dislodge the incredibly unstable wall. So uh, I'm gonna skip that for now, as disappointing as it is. Uh, it's something that I don't think is worth the risk. Um, however, I have decided I am going to paint the little drawer poles just with some like spray paint metallic finish. Um, and you know, hopefully it looks just like a tiny bit nicer that way. Now that these drawers are no longer full of just tea, all that's really left to do is put everything back in the pantry. And I know it doesn't seem like I've done that much so far, but honestly, this is where the real transformation happens. You'd be surprised what happens when you don't just recklessly throw everything in wherever it happens to fit. Who knew? However, that does mean I now have to wash all of the gross stuff that was kept on top of the shelves in there for an undetermined number of years. In an 
effort to keep things both organized and easily accessible, I bought this metal storage rack to hold all my cutting boards. It still doesn't fit that one board though. And I also bought this matching rack for storing pot lids. I picked up two more of these little wooden storage crates at Ikea to match the crate I already have for used dish towels. I'm using one crate to keep my aprons in, and the second to store any unrefrigerated produce. While I was at Ikea, I also grabbed this pegboard because I felt like it was the perfect storage solution to my very underutilized wall space where my aprons used to hang. So I've had this idea for a while, but there's like nothing more annoying to me than fighting for your life with a piece of plastic wrap. Um, so I figured I would try to put all these kinds of things like tin foil, plastic wrap, wax paper on their own little like rolls on top of this pegboard, like totally naked um, with a pair of scissors underneath to cut pieces off as I need. Um, the pegboard system like does have its own little roll holder accessory attachment that Ikea made, um, but for some reason they don't sell them on the actual Ikea website anymore. So I had to go on Amazon to the Ikea black market and get these discontinued paper towel roll holders. Um, just gonna throw some of these on there and see what happens. Literally no idea why these were discontinued, but okay. And like, what are they gonna do, kill me? Yes. I'm so unhinged. <laughs> okay. That's ugly, but you get the idea. such a bad time right now. I just threw up like everywhere, like all over myself. Ew, you can probably tell. Uh, I just cleaned most of it up, but now I'm gonna go take a shower and like the kitchen still looks like this. So um, pray for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, really. I think I just took my medication and didn't eat anything with it, which made me throw up later on in the day. So, unfortunate. So before I was so rudely interrupted by my digestive system, I was going to start organizing all of the spices that I had put out all over the counters. I've already done that and sorted them all kind of by like shape and size and I'm going to try to find a slightly better way to put them all back so that they're easier to find and access. Um, stuff that I use more often I'll put at the front and then stuff that I use for like, you know, seasonal baking that I rarely touch I'll put at the very back. And after all the cleaning, organizing, and vomiting, it was finally done.
past, whenever I wanted to buy something for my kitchen, I always had to ask myself first, is this gonna even fit in the cabinets? And usually the answer was no. But now that I have a pantry, that's not even really a question anymore. And even though it doesn't look perfect, I still have managed to make even more space in here than I thought I had before. Despite there still being like big gaping holes in the wall and peeling paint and crooked shelves, um, I am pretty pleased with how it turned out. I think I did a decent job for what I had and honestly, even those tiniest little upgrades have made it that much better and easier to use. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to doing even more cooking and baking in my newly organized pantry. That was a big bite.